Okay. So we already talked about, um, you know, the, the vertical stress magnitude. We can solve this integral if we know the density in the z direction. Or in offshore areas, we just break the integral up, right? So in offshore ar areas, oh, I guess by the way, I should, I should mention that this is the bulk density, right? So. Um, Anywhere, if I take any piece of the earth out, there's going to be solid grains filled with fluid, right? Anywhere below the water table. <coughs> and so the density here the density that we're, that we're referring to in this equation is the bulk density, you know, and then the bulk density would be equal to, say, um, 1 minus the porosity uh, times the density of the fluid. I'm sorry, density of the solid. Plus the porosity times the density of the fluid. Right. In this case, they're just, I'm just saying, as I have it drawn, we're talking about the fluid as if it's just water and grain, but we could have other components, right? Then you'd have to include you know, saturation of water, oil, gas, whatever. Right? But the point is, this, this calculation is the bulk density, right? So it's the density of everything. So in offshore areas, then, we just split off the rock from the water because we know the density of water is constant, right? Basically, um, you know, just avoiding small fluctuations in salt content or something. Right? Density of water is constant, so then we just have r the density of water times g z, where z is the depth of the water, and then we just compute the integral from the depth of the water to the depth we're interested in. So a couple of rules of thumb, and these are things you should probably just memorize. They're rules of thumb, right? That's, that's sort of the point of a rule of thumb is something you just know. You should also probably memorize them because they might show up on the test. Right. Density of water is one gram per cubic foot, or cubic centimeter rather, cubic centimeter. That's sort of the, the definition of a gram, right? And it increases at a rate of 10 mass megapascal per kilometer, or 0.44 psi per foot, per foot, per foot. And the density of the rock, this is a little harder to memorize, but 2.3 grams per cubic centimeter increases at a rate of 23 megapascal per kilometer. But this is easy. We, get, we kind of get lucky here that the density of rock, of course, the density of rock is not constant. It's approximately, right? It's a good approximation to say there's one PSI per foot. So if I ask you, and, and, and another time, uh, the, the vertical stress, you may also hear me refer to it or uh, see it in, in, in literature as the overburden stress. Right? So if I ask you what the overburden stress is at 8,000 feet, over the continental U.S., what's your answer? 8,000 PSI, right? It's a good rule of thumb. Okay, we'll stop there.